essence, you can say, yes, we've had some threats. Are you worried? We're glad when the trial is over. Angry DeKalb residents have called Sheriff Jarvis saying, why waste your time with a trial? Execute him. Jarvis says he's never seen emotions run this high and he's taking the threats seriously. Six sheriffs now surround the 21-year-old defendant as he enters the courthouse. Everyone entering the courtroom must pass through a metal detection machine. U.S. Marshals have been called in to give security advice. Inside the courtroom, 48 prospective jurors sat quietly as the 10 charges against Wiley were read. Murder, aggravated assault, kidnapping, armed robbery. But they gasped when they heard the graphic description of the sexual abuse committed on the two women. All prospective jurors were asked if they were conscientiously opposed to the death penalty since the state is seeking it. Defense attorney Paul Cobb asked if they would hold it against Wiley if he did not take the stand to testify. One juror answered, I'd like to hear his side of the story. Cobb, but he doesn't legally have to, and you wouldn't think he had something to hide if he didn't take the stand, would you? The juror, no, sir. Jury selection is going very slowly. Originally, they had hoped to begin testimony tomorrow afternoon, but now that may have to be delayed until Wednesday morning. From the DeKalb County Courthouse, Lynn Harrison, Action News.